So for any gasoline engine ever invented, you need three things to make it run. Spark, air, and fuel. So this engine right here is misfiring and not throwing any codes. Okay, so first I wanna show you a clip of what's going on with the bike. So as you can see, something's clearly wrong. It's misfiring and it doesn't want to rev past 5,000 RPMs. So the first thing you want to do is always come here first. And that's going to make more sense here in a little bit. So the first thing we're going to check is the coils. So what those actually are, are those black rubber pieces that go on top of the spark plug. We want to test to make sure we're getting power to the spark plugs. I like to use a voltmeter and then test all four coils for resistance. Basically what you're looking for is consistency. If you see one that's way lower than the others, then there's your problem right there. So another way you can do it is remove the spark plugs, take the coil, put it on top of the plug, then set it on top of the motor, and then crank the engine. If you don't see any spark coming from the bottom of the plug, then you know one of your coils is bad. So now we've ruled this out. We know it's nothing to do with the coils. So now we're going to start focusing on the plugs. So the first thing you want to do is just replace the spark plugs. Make sure you put the correct plugs in the engine, because if you don't, it's not going to run right. And you also need to make sure that the plugs are gapped correctly. If they're not, that's going to cause problems. Problem. So now we put new plugs in, made sure they're gapped correctly, and we check the coils. So go back to the old plugs that you pulled out of the engine. So first I want to mention we need an optimal air to fuel ratio. We can tell how our air to fuel ratio is by looking at the spark plugs that came out of the motor. So if you look at the bottom of the plug and you see discoloration or a white type of color, that means that the engine is running too lean. So what that means is somehow we have too much air and not enough fuel. You're going to have a hanging idle and sometimes the idle can even surge. If you see a lot of dark carbon buildup around the spark plug, that means that the engine's running too rich. We're getting too much fuel and not enough air. There's a lot of ways that that can happen. So a rich condition, you're losing power, the engine's misfiring, and you're having rough idle issues. So we want to be balanced out somewhere in the middle, a nice tannish brownish type color. So I also want to mention if you see oil on the plug, that means you either put too much oil in it or the engine's burning oil. So you want to keep an eye on the oil level. If you see it going down, and you see blue smoke coming out the exhaust, that pretty much means the engine's about to blow up. Now, hopefully that's not your case. So I know the oil level's staying consistent and we don't have any smoke, so that's good news. So as you can see by looking at these plugs, it's telling us this engine is running too rich. It's actually running so rich, it's starting to run up the plug. So just by looking at this spark plug, we've already ruled the problem down to an air to fuel ratio issue. That's why you always start here first. So now we've ruled out all this and we know our condition. So now we need to figure figure out every single way an engine could run too rich. So now what we're going to do is come over here to the air. Basically what that means is how the engine is taking in air. If it's not taking in air correctly, you can run too rich and you can also run too lean. I'll explain both. So this bike is an 06, so I'm ruling everything out. So the first thing we're going to check is the air filter. Start with the cheaper things, more expensive things later. So if your air filter is really dirty and causing a blockage of air, now we're not getting enough air and anytime you're not getting enough of one, you're getting too much of the other. So that would actually make the engine run rich. So make sure that the air filter is clean. And you also want to make sure this isn't damaged. If you're taking in unwanted air, now you're getting too much air and we got that imbalance going on. So what we're trying to do is balance that out. So if you're having a lean condition where your idle is surging or you have that hanging idle, you need to check for air leaks. So where the throttle body sit on top of the motor, it's common for older motorcycles to suck in unwanted air through the throttle bodies. So if you're having a vacuum leak, you need to check that. Well, how do you do that? That's a good question. If you turn the engine on and you spray some carb cleaner around those areas, if you hear a change in RPMs, that means you have an air leak. Basically, you're sucking in unwanted air, which would make the engine run lean. So make sure you have no vacuum leaks because that can cause problems too. So now we've ruled that out. So now we've ruled it down to a fueling issue. So when it comes to the fueling system, the first thing you want to do is come to the fuel pump first. Fuel pump first, fuel injectors next. And I'll explain why. So you can do a fuel pressure test on your machine. However, most of us don't have that sitting in the garage. All you got to do is pull the plugs and that'll lead you to the problem. So this is your fuel pump motor. If you flip the switch on and you don't hear the engine priming, then you know that this is the problem. However, there is actually a possibility that this can be failing. Anything electronic can and will eventually fail. So the best thing to do is just rule it all out. Just because this bike's really old and I don't know anything about the life of this bike. So I'm ruling out everything. Now on the bottom of the motor, you have what's called a fuel strainer. This fuel 
filters out the fuel. However, it's very common that these things get clogged up. Because there's ethanol in fuel, if you let it sit for a while, it starts to do funny things. And now you're restricting the fuel flow and you got that imbalance going on again. So if you're having that hanging idle, check the fuel strainer and make sure it's clean. If it's not, you can get away with cleaning it. However, you should replace it. It's only like $15. And if this is clogged, it's gonna make you run lean. So if you're having that problem, replace this. So now we've ruled these two out. Now this is called a fuel pressure regulator. Now what this does is this opens and closes and passes fuel back and forth. However, there's a tiny little fuel diaphragm in here. If this gets damaged, now you're allowing unwanted fuel to pass through. And now we got that imbalance thing going on again. We're getting too much fuel, which means we're not getting enough of the other, which would make us run rich. So remember I pulled the plugs? It was indicating a rich condition. This was causing the rich condition. So as soon as I replace this, it fixed the motorcycle. Now I also wanted to mention, I've had this happen to a vehicle as well. It was throwing a code, but it was just saying random misfire. Pulled the plugs, engine was running too rich, ended up being the pressure regulator. So if you're having problems with your bike where it's hard to start rough idle and it won't rev out past five or 6,000 RPMs, check the fuel pressure regulator. This costs $40. However, what you should do is just replace it all. You can buy a whole rebuild kit for $100. Don't go to the shop and give them $1,200 for no reason. You can trace it back by pulling the plugs and it'll lead you to your problem. So I just replaced it all just to be sure. But let's take it a step further. Let's say that that didn't fix the bike, right? Okay, so now there's only one thing to really check and that is our fuel injectors. Now, if you have to come here, you're most likely lean. However, you can also run rich too. Now, where you'll find the fuel injectors, if you look at the throttle bodies, you're gonna have two rails directly behind them, an upper and a lower. Those are called our fuel rails. So what you need to do is go ahead and pull those and pull out the injectors. In this case, we have eight and you're gonna have to pull them all out. So with fuel injectors, you can't just blow through them. That's not how they work. They're opened up by an electrical current. You need voltage, your battery will work fine. You need a cleaning source, carburetor cleaner works great and you need a way to seal that cleaning source to the fuel injector so we're not losing pressure. It's basically a simulation of the engine on. Basically what we're doing is we're testing the fuel injectors. It's pretty common for fuel injectors to get clogged. You're going to get like a sporadic type of spray and that's going to cause you to run lean because we got that imbalance thing going on. Now we're not getting enough fuel which means we're getting too much air. It should be a nice even clean spray. That's why you pull them all out so you can test them all and compare them to each other. So that's the more common way. Now, as I mentioned, you can also run rich. If you see something like this, where the fuel injectors are starting to leak, that means that they're probably stuck open and they're just dumping fuel out. Sometimes they can just be bad and you need to replace them. Now, I also wanted to mention, anytime you pull out your fuel injectors, replace the O-rings. The last thing that you want is to have a fuel leak on a hot engine. You might not make it home. So that's pretty much every single way an engine can misfire. If it's still misfiring, you got a vacuum leak or you didn't hook something up or you have a crank breather sucking in air or something like that. However, this motorcycle is fixed and it's good to go. If you guys want to see more of this bike, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you like the video. So I'm going to try and answer all the questions I can. If there is any, just keep in mind, I'm not in front of your bike. So I will do my best if you have any questions.